Tom from the Exploratorium. In I'm, San Francisco, California. I'm Karen Kalamuk, a biologist here. I am here with my favorite compadre in food science. Blake Wigdahl. Today we're starting a new series called Mix It and Eat It. So we're since the time of the Australopithecines and beyond, humans, proto-humans, subprimates have asked the question, if I eat this, am I going to die? So we decided to take that theme a bit farther and we're going to be doing this, he's going to be doing this, so you don't, don't have to. That's uh, right, ladies and gentlemen, my stomach, the iron stomach, a takeout from iron science teacher, we will be eating what she does. He will be eating, not me. I do the science. Okay, Blake, what have we mixed today? Well, Karen, I think today's seri mini series is about flaming egg shooters. Flaming egg shooters. Okay, let's take our audience through how we've started this. So, what does this look like? That looks like a floating egg, Karen. It's a floating egg. What do you see on that floating egg, Blake? I see a bunch of bubbles on that egg. Bunch of bubbles. So, Ooh. take a sniff. You take a whiff of that. What's it smell like? Ah, uh, that. Smells like good vinegar. Year. Good year for the vinegar. vinegar. Yes. Good so year, good year. Vinegar. This is an egg in vinegar, and the bubbles are due to chemical reaction that happens when you put the calcium carbonate of the shell into the acetic acid of the vinegar. So you have carbon dioxide gas coming off. And you know what happens to that? No, Karen, what happens to that? If you leave it in there for two days, you get this. Whoa. It's kind of soft and gooey. Something gooey. It is a naked egg. So we have taken its outer shell off. We have a naked egg. Uh -oh. What is this model for, Blake? Uh, think your science, think biology. Biology, biology. Could it be cell? It's a model of a cell. No. It's an excellent model of a cell to use this, showing how things get in, things get out. You can use it for osmosis, diffusion, all kinds of great experiments. In fact, I was playing around with that earlier this week. Want to take you? a peek? Let's take a peek. Okay, so we put this egg in isopropyl Alcohol. Alcohol. It looks a little different than the other eggs, Karen. It does, so let's look at that. Wow, how does it look different, Blake? This one kind of looks like when you pull it out of boiling water in the morning. It looks hard boiled, doesn't it? Really does different it? than this. You want to look inside? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's get a hold that for me. Let's slice and dice. Let's slice and dice before mixing and eating. So there you go. Ooh. The official tool of the Exploratorium, a knife. No, is this the one we're going to use later? <laughs> that sounds like fun. Wow! Wow! Ew! So what do you think is going on there? I don't know, Karen. We didn't boil it, but we it sure looks like in hard sure boiled boil. Well, I think what happened here is that the alcohol denatured the proteins of the egg. What's denature, Karen? Denature Kat? means it takes that three-dimensional structure and unravels it so that it looks different. So proteins mm. look different in here than they do in there. They've, it's the same idea as when you boil an egg. You change the appearance, you change the texture, you've denatured the proteins. That's kind of cool. That is cool. Hey, you know what? Today's Friday. Friday. Friday? You know what Friday What means. is Friday? Happy hour. Happy Hopefully hour. Hopefully it lasts longer than a happy hour. I was thinking maybe we could actually make ourselves a nice little taste sensation here using this idea. That would be I good for happy hour. It would be nutritious as well as scientific. It would. Perhaps. Perhaps. We'll find out soon. Okay, so we started this last week. Here we got one egg. We have an egg in here, believe it or not. It's green. It's green. It's not for green eggs and ham. This has been soaking in creme de menthe for creme. about 10 days now. Minty. Minty. So creme de menthe is about uh, 30 proof. So that's about 15% alcohol. This egg here was in 99% alcohol. So what do you think? Do you think this that's is going to be solid? That's a big difference. I don't know. know. That's a big difference. Make a prediction. Mix it in. We're science. We I think it. it's still going to be kind of ooey gooey. The official tool. Drum roll. You know, I don't think that... Um, That's a brutal one. <laughs> I don't think that this is going to be a hit at the bar no. or at the TGIF party. So, you never, uh, never know. But I think, you know... We Maybe got, later in the night. But you know what we got here, Blake? We got diffusion of the green from the creme de menthe, the green pigment molecules, into the egg. Look, yeah, I mean. that membrane is stained, the white is stained, even the yolk, it which has like taken on a very strange shape, is being kind of... Strange. That's... That's truly disgusting. Yes. You want to eat this? I'm not ready for that not one. Ready. Okay, so you know what? Let's try, try another one. 
What's about the, the highest percent alcohol that you can legally buy in California in a Ooh, bottle? That's a good question, Karen. What do you think? Got any thoughts? I'm guessing it comes from the Caribbean, perhaps? Per perhaps, perhaps. Hmm. They ought to be laid back there. So, well, I happen to have a little bit of some left. The secret ingredient for a final egg. It's... Ta-da! 151 rum. 151 rum, so that's about 75.5% alcohol. So what do you think will happen if we soak some de-shelled eggs in 151 rum? Well, on my prediction, it's going to be kind of like this one, the green. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. You don't think it's going to be like this one? I don't know. Okay, that was 95, 99%, I suppose. Let's take a look. There's one right here. Can I give it a sniff? Give it a lick? <laughs> <laughs> What's it taste like? Mmm. <laughs> Tasty. I think it tastes like this is going to be a rough mini series. <laughs> Woo! So here you go, Blake. Look. Ooh. You can't quite compare it to this yet, but. Very yeah. different. Looks Very like a brown similar. egg. Similar. Looks like a brown egg, so we got some color diffusion. It's soft, though. It's soft. There's no shell. No shell. So let's go ahead. Do you want to open this one? Yeah, I'm going to clean this, though. Yeah, let's not. Good scientific skills here, not contaminating your instruments. Whoa! Whoa. Ooh. Wow! Wow, that looks that one just good. Lo that one looks like the isopropyl one. That one looks like the isopropyl one, so the 75% alcohol is denatured the proteins. So much easier, too, without it's the shell. It's kind of, let's do a little wafting smell here. Does it just make you feel like something you want to try? I mixed it. What? Do you think he should I eat it? I said I would eat it. Yeah. Okay. Do you think we Blake? should eat it? Yeah. yeah I think I think you should eat it. All right. Remember, from the dawn of time, will I live or will this kill me? The Explore Time does not take any responsibility for you doing this at home and ending up being having third degree burns in the hospital, dying or becoming insane. All right. Do you think I can do the whole egg? <laughs> okay. Let's egg them on. Come on, Blake. Come on. And egg them on. 151 rum pickle egg. Eat, 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 eat. Oh! Oh! Wow! Oh. That's so good. <laughs> wow, Blake, is it a hit? <laughs> Once it hits your lips, so good. Wow, so that's pretty impressive. Although, you know, if we were back in the Austral Epimazines, I'm not sure if he would survive. <laughs> All right, cut, cut. <laughs> I got too excited, too much there. And be sure to watch next week when we'll be featuring a special guest, Katie Ward, and DNA cocktails. And until then, I mix it and he's... Well, I'll eat it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in.